You're absolutely right that the existing assumptions behind educational systems are that the purpose of education is to transmit valuable knowledge faithfully from one generation to the next, basically, from people who already have that knowledge to people who don't. So the knowledge is, con is, is conceived of as a kind of valuable fluid which you pour from one generation to the next. You like pour it into their brains. And if it doesn't work, it can only be because either you haven't poured it carefully enough or because they've rejected it. And notice that this is entirely authoritarian in the epistemological sense. It assumes that there's an authority for knowledge, namely the previous holders, and that the only role of the learner is to receive that knowledge. Yeah, you know, they can make exceptions that, you know, once, you under, once you've understood everything, then you're allowed to form your own new theories or something or attack the problems at the edge of the subject. But as I said before, there is no edge of subject. My old boss, John Wheeler, used to say about physics, but it's true of everything, that every point is a growth point. Every point is a potential source of problems whether it's near the edge of what is known or in the interior, which has been known for centuries. Anything can be a source of problems and may be subject to replacement.